Today we are sending off our DOD component medical crew, which was sent down to us from uh, Travis Air Force Base, uh, especially right during the when we had a really big need for some extra people to help us out about uh, two months ago now, and they've been here since then, and so this is their last day, so we're kind of giving them a send-off. Unfortunately, they're leaving today, but it's still a celebration. We had a surge for a couple of months, so we needed uh, the help physically for somebody to come in here and help out seeing the extra load of patients. But I think the more important thing than the physical part of it is the emotional part of it. I mean, we were reeling from the pandemic, and uh, most of the staff, the nurses, the physicians were tired. They were working long hours. We were low on staff when the COVID virus was at its max. We had over three quarters of our population in the, in the hospital were all COVID positive. Once they came and helped us out, they showed us some courage. They gave us some encouragement. They did everything asked for and beyond. I've never seen one person complain so far. And they always had a smile on their face. So I think that taught us something. There was no training involved. They, they hit the door running. They had, uh, we gave them four hours to get used to the facilities. And after four hours, we gave them a full patient load. They started, they started working. And at a point when we had a, a real need for the extra help, uh, they were available for us. And not only that, but they provided some excellent care while they were here. While it's a sad day that they're leaving, we're quite happy of what they've given us and what they've imparted to us. We won't forget it. The hospital definitely won't forget it.